Alright, finally! <laughs> finally! <laughs> finally! Don't give me that. If this isn't translated, I'm gonna be mad. Because this is possible, it might not be translated. I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid that this is a VIP only area. Do you have an invitation? Uh, um, excuse me, I'm looking for someone. Is the bartender around? I believe he is available. Please take a seat at the entrance. I will return with him shortly. <laughs> Why, hello there, baby. Looks like you found where the grown ups come to play. A cute little thing like you shouldn't be wandering around in places like this. Big bad adult might just eat you up. <laughs> Sorry, I just really wanted to see you. <laughs> Ain't nothing for you to apologize for. If anything, it should be me saying sorry to you for being so slow on the uptake. You went through a lot of trouble because of my failings. Rather shameful for the one rather shameful for the one of us who's supposed to be the adult. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> now, ain't that just like you to say? That kindness of yours is something real precious. Never forget about it. Anyhow, do you have any idea what just what kind of place you've gone and wandered into? It's a bit like a temporary haven for adults who've been hurting now, and now need a little something to soothe their sleepy, their sleepless nights. Don't tell me. Have you been plagued by nightmares too? I had a weird dream. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. That sounds awful scary. Awfully scary. But it's okay now. You're safe here. There's an adult right here looking out for you, baby. Come here. A hug will make it all better. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's a kind magic to hugs, don't you think, baby? They're so comforting and warm. When we touch each other like this, it's like I can feel your spirit. Anyway, this ain't really the place to stand and talk. Why not come with me to my room? How'd you like the sound of a non-alcoholic cocktail made by yours truly? This place is amazing! I can't believe you're staying here! I never knew bartending paid so well! Bartenders in high-class hotels do make a good living. But I bet most of them don't get to stay in rooms like this. Everything you see here is thanks to my client's taste. Not to mention it's important that I stay in this here... Not... It's important that I stay in this here hotel. Is your client Hakuna? She opened up another adult playground a while back called the Tokyo Casino. I got to know her through my bartending gig there. If she were still as pushy as she used to be, I would have kindly declined. Things are different now, so here I am. She changed a little recently. Now just who could have had the hand in that, I wonder. Plus, there's another reason. I can hardly... I can hardly make sure everyone at this hotel gets. I can hardly make sure everyone at this hotel gets a peaceful night's sleep if I'm not here, can I? But we've gone and gotten a bit off topic. Let me make that cocktail just like I promised. <laughs> what are you making? What's gonna happen? I could say watch and wait, but I'll give you a hint. The ingredients are lime juice, grenadine, a dash of syrup, and finally soda. Now just what could I be making with those? I'm glad I got to show you how it worked before you became an adult, baby. 
the world looks so different once you graduate. Thanks for waiting there, baby. I give you the summer delight. Looks so pretty. This makes me feel all grown up. Cocktails sure are a fine thing, don't you think? Don't you feel like you we've grown just a little closer? <laughs> Perhaps that was a little much too fast. Let's change the subject. Have you ever heard of the language of cocktails? The language of cocktails? You mean like the language of flowers? Yeah, something like that. The idea is there's meaning there's a meaning by, hidden in a cocktail. Ever heard of a of a carol? Its meaning is conveying your feelings. It's almost like a confession of your love and affection. Some customers buy that drink for someone they got their eye on start a conversation. Some bars won't allow it, but as for me, I think it's a fine form of communication. I have a rather soft spot for cocktails. They're one of my favorite parts of culture here in this Tokyo. They're a way of expressing something that cannot be expressed in words. I wish I could tell an old friend of mine about this. Uh, tell me more about your past. I want to know, I want to know more about you. If it helps make your nights a little easy, less sleepless, baby, it'd be my pleasure. There once was a man who laughed at everyone, everyone when he was at. There once was a man who laughed when everyone was sad, and frowned when everyone was happy. Others struggled to understand why he ever chose to do that, and because of it, he lived a very lonely life. However, he had one friend, and that friend knew that it was all out of kindness. He laughed for those who jo whose joy for went forgotten amid others' grief. He cried for those whose grief was neglected in the midst of joy. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Everything he did, he did for those who were lonely, were loneliness, even if that meant earning the scorn of everybody else. With no one able to understand it, he was made to perish, and finally, after years of isolation, left the world behind. Only his friend understood that he lived the life of a hero, a virtue more noble than gold. And that friend chose to take up his mantle, and still lives within his dreams. Are you talking about... Shh. Sometimes silence is a virtue, baby. Perhaps I'll pour myself a drink too. A toast to sweet dreams for everyone sleeping tonight under the curtain of night. I wanted to buy you a carol. <laughs> Let's make a toast to your success, baby. Just wait a moment while I make a little something for myself. Oh man, a romantic with a a romantic with a heavy past. But I feel like he's also related to Wonka and Taka. I don't. I wonder if I'm. I wonder if I'm spot on in that. In that. <laughs> 